Take a walk in the sun for few minutes. Breathe in the fresh energies of nature, the prana shakti. These energies enter our body along with the air which also has oxygen, the life sustaining gas for the physical body. This prana energy will purify our soul, rejuvenate and cleanse our chakras. Hello everyone. This is Sushi. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we would look into the two breathing patterns. The unconscious breathing and the conscious breathing. I'm not speaking about the technicalities of how to breathe as this should be learned from experienced yoga masters or the teachers. In yoga, the hypothesis is that all the diseases are caused by improper breathing, which causes the improper distribution of prana in the physical body. Even those diseases which are regarded as psychological in nature are actually caused by an imbalance of energy which again contributes to improper breathing. Experts say that the average resting adult respirates or draws breath about 12 to 20 times per minute. That's up to around 28,800 breaths per day. These uh, breaths are unconscious for many throughout their life, just like animals, children and most of the other people. Unconscious breathing does not supply proper prana into the brain though it stimulates the respiratory system and the blood circulation. Breathing is an autonomous system of the body that we can control. This means that the body governs it but we can change how we breathe through conscious breathing practice such as pranayama. Pranayama is uh, derived from two Sanskrit words. Prana, life force. Ayama, control. Therefore, in its broadest description, pranayama would mean the control of flow of the life force, which means controlled breathing practice. Breathing can be perfected by practicing pranayama and increase the energies and the oxygen into the body to a greater quantum. The brain requires maximum amounts of pranic energy and oxygen as it is the most active part in the physical body. If the supply is not proper in the mind, it becomes restless and disturbed. The process of supply and assimilation of prana into the brain is very complicated. The brain is a subtle instrument and it can only be enriched by subtle form of prana and can be stimulated by the practice of pranayama. Conscious breathing has an entirely different effect on the brain than the unconscious breathing. Through unconscious breathing, we are definitely able to feed the whole body with prana, 
but we cannot supply the brain with sufficient prana for its evolution and growth ancient yogis believed that we can stretch our life span bit longer by taking as many as slow and deep breaths as possible the average person takes about 16 breaths per minute but in the conscious breathing the breaths are reduced to lesser than 10 breaths in some practices there are many types of conscious breathing practices formulated in different parts of the world in india according to the hindu scriptures there are 84 lakh asanas or postures that are contained in the science of yoga with simple yet effective curative and preventive techniques of yogic kriyas which included conscious breathing there are different types of breathing techniques which help in reducing different ailments in body these breathing techniques are taught by trained teachers and gurus and masters only the guru or the master knows the capacity and requirement of his disciple and the system he could be trained into life is absolutely dependent upon the act of breath from the first faint breath of the infant to the last gasp of the dying person it is one long stretch of continued breathing from the womb to the tomb life is but a series of breaths modern civilization has changed man and he has adopted improper ways and methods of walking standing and sitting which have robbed him of his birthright of natural and correct breathing added to this a sedentary lifestyle reduces elasticity of lung tissues and leads to decrease in lung capacity leading to heavy and gross inhalation and exhalation or broken breaths psychologists have found that the conscious breathing practice is effective in fighting anxiety depression and stress related problems our emotions change the way we breathe research has shown that our breathing practice can influence mind and can work effectively on stress related issues in the body psychological evidence has indicated that breathing practice significantly reduces blood pressure by exercising control over the gross breath by practicing the conscious breathing one can control the subtle prana within therefore we practice pranayama and the prana is converted into the subtle force helping the brain to assimilate enough amounts of prana and improving the quality of awareness the slow and rhythmic breathing via pranayama leads to a healthy and long life and also to a three dimensional awakening of body mind and soul